Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, today we are revisiting the Mobiscribe Wave, the Blue Beauty, um, and it has received its first big update, update 2.2.0. And that one brings quite a few things and some important ones to the table. But before we do, if you do like the work that I do and you would like to support the channel further, please do like the video, consider subscribing and check out the mydeepguide.com slash shop for the My Daily Organizer. What is a My Daily Organizer? MDO is a hyperlinked PDF file that has all of your organizing yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily needs covered and it can be used in a personal or professional manner. If you would like to learn more, you can check out the description down below for a dedicated MDO playlist where you will find more information about the product and then you will see if it's something for you or not. And now let's check the update on the Mobiscribe Wave. So the very first thing to cover is that now we should have, and we do, we have three new brush strokes or pens or brushes available. We have a pencil, I would believe that that's, yes, that is a pencil. Then this should be a mechanical pencil. And we also should have a highlighter, right? So now you can actually choose from uh, six different pens or pen types with uh, the Mobiscribe Wave. And this is the ballpoint pen. And one of the other improvements is that the existing pens have been improved as far as the smoothness uh, of the strokes goes. And actually, yes, they do. They do look smoother. So this is the ballpoint pen. Okay, let's now check the um, the uh, the old existing brush, I think this was, yes, this is, this is the brush, also working nicely and smoothly. Now let's check out the pencil. So this is the pencil and no. Uh, yes, it does. It does have, uh, let's see where the stroke size is. There we go. So it does support tilt sensitivity and it goes in a good way. And what I do like is that, yeah, it has quite, quite a nice way of doing these things. That's actually very, very nice to see. It's not as good as the one on Kindle Scribe and it's a little bit, maybe a bit laggy, not, yeah, it's a bit laggy. That's probably because of the size of the brush. So it's a good uh, graphite pencil brush. It can detail kind of nicely and it feels good. But still the one on the, uh, I would put it like as a third place, I think, uh, because the number one would be Kindle pencil brush and number two would be the Remarkable and this would be something really strange that I'm doodling here. Um, but uh, I would put this one as number three, but it feels good and it performs okay. But the most important part is that it really, really does feel quite, quite good. So it's a valuable addition. Now let's check out the mechanical pencil, which is supposed to not, I guess that it's not pressure sensitive. And it's not, but it's very fast. It's very clean and it works good. The only thing is that it's not exactly black, is it? And it's not really kind of full. So, huh, 
All right, well, that's that's how that one is. And then we also have the fountain pen. Yes, it does feel quite nice. Let's see, how is it? It's okay. It's nothing spectacular, but it's perfectly fine. It just works fine. And then we have the highlighter, which of course works as a normal highlighter. So there's really nothing spectacular about the highlighter, but it's good that you actually have it. So um, pretty, pretty important updates and uh, expansion of the uh, tool sets that you have available on the MobiScribe Wave. So that is a nice thing to see for sure. The next thing is uh, we're supposed to be able to do third party optimization. So you're supposed to be go be able to long press and go optimize. Now in the optimization, well, aha, use expert parameters. Well, let's not use expert parameters, then I can use something else. So these are the options that are exposed to you and they are mainly regarding the refresh and display uh, functionality. So you can choose between different refresh modes. Um, so we have reading mode, normal mode, balanced mode, and fast mode. And then you can definitely kind of combine between these to see what it, uh, what it does and how it works. Animation filter, add a delay to avoid page flipping animations. Okay, so I guess I can add a filter of 50 milliseconds. Okay, well, that's like a specifically made for that. Then let's just see how, how fast can it work. And uh, full refresh frequency, clear display ghosting, I guess this is at some point in time. Uh, and then you have display as well, where you can adjust page scaling, contrast, threshold and full screen mode, which is force app to display in full screen mode and you need to restart, restart the app to take the effect. So I really do like that we have contrast control, page scaling control, threshold control, like all of these things. So this actually gives you quite a bit of um, flexibility as far as the, um, yeah, working with the third party apps. So let's just see. Does that offset actually um, make it possible to get rid of the page flipping animation in Kindle? And this is supposed to be in fast mode. Well, no, it's, it's displaying much faster, so that's good. And the ghosting is much worse, but that's what you get. But the device is capable of doing this. However, I'm still not able to get rid of the um, uh, the uh, the animation in Kindle and that's not something that I'm a fan of. However, it's really, really good to see that you have the app optimization functionality right here so that you can custom tailor the app's behavior to your liking on the wave. In EPUBs now, you can actually go to progress and then move like this and you will see the preview of the page that you are going to and then when you release it it goes to the page so pretty normal behavior but it's something that you didn't have before so it's definitely a welcome addition to the wave platform and finally the big one of course is that now you're supposed to have uh, the option of getting the google play service to work now last time on Mobiscribe origin when I needed to do this, this was a very tricky operation and it didn't, was not straightforward at all. So I have not enabled it yet and I wanted to do it the first time in ca on camera here so that we can see like how the experience actually is and that we can try and troubleshoot it and see what, so that the users can know what to expect. So basically all you need to go is go to settings and then you will have the new option play store. Once there you need to flip the switch to turn it on 
Now I'm going to go Google Play Store. Google, okay, I need to connect. All right, sign in to your Google account after it shows message like, this device is in place certified protected. Come back here to do the next step. All right, so sign in, ignore the message and go back to settings. All right, let's do that. Okay, got it. So am I now gonna go back here? Okay, so I've signed in, I got the message, got back here. So now tap the button below to copy and register the GSF ID. It takes one day to one week to wait for the Google service to complete the certification. Okay, well, I guess I won't be able to confirm or deny if this one worked or not i'm gonna attempt it so this is copied it gets me over to here i need to sign in again all right i've logged in and did it paste it i'm not a robot i guess he already did paste it or should i just go here and paste Yes, so you have to tap into here and go paste. That's the number that I got and then register. Okay, and now it says device registered just for a fraction of a second and now that's that. And now apparently you are registered. So normally what I do when this happens is I restart the device. So I'm just gonna power cycle the device now. All right, power cycle done. Let's go to tools. I should be able to see Play Store. And now most likely it will not work because as they said, it takes a few hours to a few days to maybe a week. So let's just check it. Um, yeah, okay. So it even tells you that you have to be patient and wait, but let's just try it, you know, just for Posterity sake. So you gotta sign in yet again. No, it's not. So, but that is the procedure, and that is a little bit more straightforward. The only thing that I messed up last time, which was difficult to know, should you paste it or not, that number that I showed you. So yes, you have to paste it, you have to register it, and it's kind of tricky to know, hey, have I did it or not? Because you have like device registered pops up just for like a second or so, and then it disappears, and then it just resets as if you haven't done anything. So the whole procedure is a little bit kind of weird, but um, that's how it is. So for me, I can't really show you if the Google Play Store works because I'll have to wait for an unidentified number of days or even up to a week until the Google Play Store becomes active. However, on Mobiscribe Origin, it was and it did happen after a few days. So I'm expecting that the same thing is going to be true on the Mobiscribe Wave. I'll issue an update on that uh, later on and um, yeah then, then then you'll know if it worked or not but that's that's the process so now hopefully <laughs> you will be able to have Google Play Store on your uh, Mobiscribe Wave so you can install your favorite apps and you can optimize them and you can make them run the way you want them on the Mobiscribe Wave which is pretty cool to see well there you go so we got new pens we got new things and we got the Google Play Store Hopefully when it gets uh, updated, let's check it out. This has been like a day has passed between the top down camera shooting and the face camera shooting. So let's power it up and see, has my Google Play status updated or not? Let's see, checking info. Nope, not yet. 
so I guess I'll have to wait a little bit more. But if Google Play Store works properly, then that's going to be a great and a very much needed addition to the platform itself. The pen optimization, I think, are the most important ones, and they do broaden the palette, no pun intended, uh, for the writing capabilities of the device itself. So I think that it's a um, step in the right direction and a very quick one. So that is something that's good to see, that the product has just been launched and now we're getting the uh, uh, update here and it's addressing the most pressing one, which was, hey, where's the Google Play Store? Well, um, hopefully it will get there. So I think it's there, it just needs the approval time. And they do say very clearly, to be fair, they say very clearly, a couple of days and up to a week to actually get it to work on the device. But overall, I think it's a welcome thing to see on the Mobiscribe wave. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.